Good morning, everybody. So now I want to show you on similar to what the cake did with the textures and the layers and where like, you know, the um, frosting layers and whatnot are. I do want to show you kind of like a berry cake uh, or a berry pie or like this kind of a pie you would do very similar to the cake. It's just instead of having this layer on the top, you do this as your crust layer on the bottom and then you can have like a wavy line for your in-between layers. That would be a good idea. And then you add on the frosting on the top. But if you're doing something like this uh, with all the little berries and stuff, you can see I can still see the, the crust on here and I can, I'm gonna add on the crust topping, this weave later, but I wanna make sure I get this crust layer and the berries, okay? So just like we did with the cake, you are going to lay a piece of paper on here and you're just gonna use your pencil looking tool or literally a pencil, not a mechanical one, but a wooden pencil and you're gonna trace down that way and then trace up this way, right? And depending on what kind of crust it is, you might need to go, like if you have the, the top crust is the same, you might just kind of go like this. And depending on how your crust is shaped, you might need to follow that top kind of craziness, right? Now, if you're doing, like I said, that layered one, then you're texturing it just like the cake. If you're doing a berry one though, uh, you're gonna need to add on some berries. So you're just basically gonna make some little balls that are like half shape. And I just, ah, there was a bug on me. Um, I just did like this to make it flat on one side, but still very round. And you're literally going to slip and score those on there. Now, if you make them all exactly the same size and same shape, then it's gonna look fake, right? So you want some of them that are gonna be like flatter than the others and some of them to look bigger and some of them to look smaller, but they're all gonna get slipped and scored on. So like that one might be like, look like farther back. Um, and make sure your clay is soft for this. So I'm gonna make a bigger one. So maybe this one, I'm gonna say it's gonna like have stuck out a little bit farther cause it's starting to fall out. So like my little round bit is bigger right? But you're just going to start filling all that kind of stuff in. Now, if you're trying to do like oozy bits where stuff is like squeezing out, like once you have all of this kind of thing, you can make a couple little like droplets and you would slip and score these in here. Just make sure that when they sit on the table that they're still like you're still gonna be able to glaze them and wipe them off. So like you don't want them to be too far down, but you'll just add it in. And if you need to make it pointy, you know, spend a little bit of time, make sure it looks right, right? But you'll just add those in and smooth it in with a tool. So you can just kind of blend it in, but you gotta slip and score first, right? So that's how you add in all those little berry bits. Now, if you have some areas that you want to have, like it look like it's farther in, you could carve it in there and you could take out some of this like in-betweener stuff and use your tool to pull it out. But then you also have to spend some time like rounding this edge. And that can be a little bit more difficult than just adding on an actual bumpy layer. So, you know, adding in that bumpy layer is a good idea. All right, so have at it, make it look amazing. Spend some time on this, you got time and be creative. Thanks everybody.